Hello there folks, it is now lesson 20 and this is a, a place where, where I actually live. This is a place called Cromer and it's a shot from off the beach uh, towards uh, East Runton looking back towards the, the pier and the, the pier is just here and the, the, the Hotel de Paris there, and the church, of course. And then these are cliffs which are constantly crumbling away, sadly. All around that coast is crumbling away. And this is, is sort of a beach, but some rock pools here, where the kids love to play in. And uh, we, we'll, we'll take it on there. It's the same colour setup that I've got for you this time, and you'll find out that uh, we, we'll have a nice picture here. The, the, the weight of the picture is, is bottom right, so we, we ought to have some cloud formation top left. That, that will balance the picture. But there's your colours. I'll take them off. Now you know, know, you know they should know them by heart by now. And there's a sketch for you, the actual sketch. The paper, which mine's sketched out already. And I'll start painting. Okay? So the, the colours, as usual, I'm trying to put some clean water on, again, onto the the sky area, but randomly, not not all over. Let's see what kind of sky we're going to have today. A nice day will be, it will be, will be quite welcome, wouldn't it? We'll see how we go anyway. Right, let's put some sunshine in. That's the ochre or the Raw Sienna. That's enough. And then we'll have some some of the blue. A nice day, lovely day. Blue, lovely. Keep it running in. Keep some hard edges there if you want. That's where I've, I haven't wet the paper, so it's, it's going to be hard. And of course, it's soft edges. What we talk about is when, when the paper is wet and it, it softens into it. I'll have a touch down here as well. So let the brush decide where the, where the colours go. You just hold on to it. It'll do it for you. If you treat it nice, it'll, it'll be good to you. Take it down towards the horizon. Right, I'll, t I'll introduce that, that, that week number seven, that, that uh, pinky colour, into the base of the sky and see how we go with that. That should be nice. That's where the water is. Be careful there. I'll go over that and see how we go. Keep it going. Find the cliffs. Keep this light going down here. It's got a nice pink. I like, I like that pink. It's uh, it'd be nice in the sky to get a touch of pinks up here as well. A lovely day. That's it. Oh, lovely. I like that. Introduce that. And then we'll introduce the. The ultramarine and burnt umber, a, a little bit heavy on that top corner there to balance the, the weight of the picture down here. So all the time when you're painting your picture, you, you're thinking about balance and you're thinking about uh, colours and things like that and, and perspective. So it, it's important you think about these things. 
It all helps to make you make your picture that much nicer. I touch down there. I thought I'd touch more brown in that. Touch more burnt umber in there because I want it to be a bit darker just there. Twiddle a bit of dark into here. Make it more interesting. And then it comes towards the horizon, of course. You, you, you lose your intensity of, of, of colour and strength, and it, uh, it it's still there, but 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 you you lost its intensity because it's further back. Nice and a bit of watery in there. Go to the distance there. I've got a, quite a well of paint in the bottom here like that. Better take that out and uh, it's going to run all over the place. And the light will be on this this cliff face here, which which is nice. We'll we'll see that in sunshine. The 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 distant. This is a distant shot of the uh, uh, Cromer Pier and the buildings and the church. So I, I want to put that in into a, a, a muted tone to keep it in the background. So the, the, the cliffs are a bit of interesting and hopefully a bit, of, a bit of detail on the beach here. But we'll see how we go. So first of all, we'll get some get rid of some of this white. You know, I don't like white. And we'll put some of this, get some of the, the cliffs undercoat, if you like, just here. Get this coating down here. Just along there, flat it out for a start. In fact, we'll have, we'll have some of this on, on the beach as well. How's that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? We're getting rid of the white here. Yeah, that's lovely. So it's low tide, so the, the the beach will show right by the pier. To the, the the outline of the pier and the, these buildings here, but I want them sort of uh, silhouetted, if you like, or, or greyed out, so that we we're not getting too much detail on them. It's just we know they're there, but they're not too busy. So that should be all right. Let's see how we go. Just, I'm testing me, testing my colours on the, on my test paper. I, I'll just show you this because it's it, it, it's it's a, it's a good idea to, to have a test paper and, and test your colours you want to paint with to make sure you've got the right colour before you commit yourself to your actual painting, which makes life easier. Right, so we'll we'll just put some detail on this, or well, not detail, just get it blocked in so it's. It's in the distance. These are the, the two like little um, booking offices and stuff like that because they have a, a end of the pier show which is which is quite famous. In fact, it's the last end of the pier show in the world, and we, we get all sorts of people there, and it's, it's, it's a good show. It's a good summer. Uh, family show and it's, it's full every year and the, the, the holiday makers love it. We've had people like you know Bradley Walsh who, who's, who's he's on, on everything these days and, uh, and he's, he's been there in the past he did not come now we haven't seen him recently but it's, it's a lovely old-fashioned seaside town Nothing pretentious about it. It's not. It's just. 
It's just lovely. A lot of uh, old people live there, including me. And and it, it, it's well liked. So that that should hopefully this is going to say, the church is is here. So we'll just put the church in. That's a gorgeous church. It's a beautiful tower. And you can go over the top of the tower on this church if you can make it. And of course, each year what we're getting now is a, a family of uh, peregrine falcons, falcons, on the top of the church. And they, they've got a webcam up there. And of course, uh, it, it's really interesting. People can see it for miles. It's, it's quite popular. So let's have a look at the, have a look at the pier itself. Let's, uh, so sort of if I can get a, th a little brush, a rigger or something like that, just to I can find it. I've got one somewhere. It's hiding somewhere. This is a trouble. Come here, where there are you? A little rigger. Well, I've got it. Talk among yourselves while I sort myself out. So this is, uh, I wouldn't put this structure it's standing on, let's, let's gently put that in. Because the sky has gone behind there, see, because you can see through it. So this ramp here is the ramp where the, the in this, this building here is the uh, lifeboat. So the lifeboat is there ready to launch any time they, they need it. made some famous rescues from here. I mean, full ships, you know, but 70 odd people and stuff like that, all saved off the, off the coast of Norfolk there. So I'll put one or two stone tunes in. I think that's what they call them. They're the girders that hold it all up. Somebody will say they're not stone tunes, they're something else, but, but they'll do. So we, we know we're not putting every nut and bolt in it. It's, it's just a we know that it's it's a pier's being held up there, and it's in the distance. So that's away from us. Right, we can leave that alone for a bit now, and let's take out a tattle of these cliffs, which are which are coming towards us. In fact, before I do that, on, on top of these, there's a there's a, a grassy bank on top of this, and on top of that, and on top of that. So I think we'll put a grassy bank in first. Let's get that sorted out. And I'm going to use some cadmium yellow. Dip in water for a start. Some cadmium yellow. And some Windsor blue red shade. The blue red shade, it's, it gives you a nice green, it does. As I said, I've got a green, so I have to mix it. So at least each green is fresh. Well, let's see what we've got. We'll put a bit of green in here. Touch on that there. We'll touch on this top here. A bit stronger just on the front here because this, this this grass is is closer to us and it's it's a bit stronger. Of course, this weekend it's what we've just had. It's 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 the first the relaxation of the lockdown. And people have been sensible that they've, they've kept away from chroma because there's a lot of people who are vulnerable, and the 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 beaters were quite quite uh, quite bare. And that I'm, I'm, I'm saying they are. I don't know myself because I haven't been out because I because I can't. But uh, the all the news the news readers and all they're saying they've done very well, which is lovely. We'd love to see visitors, you know, it's, 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 it's good to see the, 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 the place all 
full of holiday makers enjoying themselves. Terrific. And uh, all along this, this, this thing here and beyond there is uh, these beach huts. Lovely beach huts they are. And, and they, they, they're full every year and the people enjoying it. Enjoying it, which, which is what sort of life's all about, isn't it? Right. So let's see what we've got now. So that, that's done that for a start. Now these cliffs, I want to sort of grey these off a bit now near because they're further away. So this is m muted colour here. Not any details in them, it just, it's, it's muted. Because they're, they're in the background. And as they come forward, we get a bit more, more more colour into it, so we get some some colour. This is the same colour what we did the flat coat on it. Just put some of that in there. That brings it towards us. Each step is is, is sort of. I said that's in the distance, and this is the closer to us. It's on the angle, so this is going to be stronger in values than that just there. So I've got to keep that subdued. Right, as we come further along, we're going to sort of uh, strengthen up this this uh, this sienric end, this uh, ochre, whatever you like to call it. We'll strengthen this up and have some stronger values here. That's better. These, these uh, cliffs, as I said, they're, they're, they're sandy cliffs and uh, they're, they're, they're constantly changing, crumbling and things like this. In fact, some years ago, the uh, uh, some, some people found that on these cliffs here, just here, uh, they discovered it as the, the, the sandy cliffs fell away and all that, they found a, a, a wool, woolly mammoth. I mean, <laughs> not you. Not your everyday finding it. It's this is you know it's, it's ten million years old, but it was stuck in the cliffs there, and it uh, there it was. I, I don't think it was it was a all in one piece, but but uh, but uh, it was very famous, and it's, I think it's in London now. Of course, they always take it down there, don't they? Don't get only view of those. So it's in London, and they're they're dealing with it, and it's I say ten million years old. Crikey. I can just imagine, can't you, some family there uh, having a picnic on the beach there and the, the little ones are digging in this digging in the cliff side and all this and and the mother saying, you know, come and get your sandwiches. Leave that woolly mammoth alone. <laughs> it, uh, but uh, it was quite, it's quite important. In fact, they, they, in the, they, we've got a chrome uh, museum and they, they, they've got details with this in there as well. So it's, that's quite interesting to go and see as well. So I'm, I'm just I'm bringing these stronger, these tones here, because they, they're closer to us. And these lines I've got on there, well, this, the lines to help me sort of, I'll put the sculpture them by, by putting some uh, that burnt umbra, what we did in the sky. I'll put some of that in there. That will strengthen that. And, and as I go further away, I'm going to keep that not not too strong. We've got to weaken that a bit because it's it's not too strong. Let's just not too. I'm keep away from that that bit. You're tempted to to, to paint it, but I don't want to yet. So that's. That's the undercut. In fact, I'll put some, put some darks on this beach as well. I've got this blooming little brush and it's, it's, it's no good for, for painting. A, oh, I like a big brush, you know. Mm. Let's put some of this in here, that's better, a bigger brush. Now I can, it, we need to do some of this uh, burnt umber, that's the this, this colour we've used in the sky and it's it's a, a lovely colour, very useful. We 
can just do some of these colours into these cliffs here like this. Shape it. Because the light's from the the left, isn't it? So there's gonna be some darks where the the crevices are like this. Do a bit more sculpture. That's better. It's 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 forming forming with some shapes now instead of blending into the into the rock face. You'll enjoy this one. You can't go wrong because there's nothing to go wrong on. It's 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 just sort of following the, the crevices and stuff like that, and and making your lights and your darks and and it'll it'll look good. It will. Your neighbours will be so impressed with it. They will. If you darks in here, I like that. A bit darker than the last lot. Falling away there, and that bit's in shade because it's it's set back. So I won't be doing these videos. I've been thinking now. Shall I, shall I shorten them and and, and cut out some of the the, the time I'm, I'm spending on them by by editing it, or or do you like it warts and all? You know the the the, the full Monty. I'm I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to find out. But uh, well, it, it always helps if if you if you if you like like one. If you click the like then it lets me know, people out there, which they like and which they don't like. So that, that's a, a, an indication for me, which is most helpful. And thank you for doing it. These cliffs like that. Yeah, there's more detail on these these foreground cliffs because they're, they're, they're closer to you, of course. But it's, it's a nice quickie, this one. Or oh, it should be. We'll see when we when we get a bit further. And I want to put some people in on the beach enjoying themselves. That'll be nice. I'll put a bit of that, uh, this stuff up here. We've got uh, that in the sky. I'll add a bit of that to it. And uh, that will calm it down a bit as I go further back there. Not be as intense, really, because it's further back. Like we've been saying, keep it in the distance. Put a bit of indication on that one there. In fact, this, this, this is, I put one or two rocks in here, and the reason I put them in is because uh, it's, it's, the, the kids love, love playing in, in rock pools, don't they? They, they get their little, little crabs and, and all sorts in there, and it's, 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 it's a, I mean, I've, I've done it with my kids, and I've, I've done it with the, with the grandkids, the, 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 the twins, the, the youngest twins. We've got three, three really adult ones now, but, uh, but the twins, are, they're still only about nine or ten, and, and they, they, they love it, they do. And I, I enjoy doing it with them. It's, it gives me an excuse to do it. I suppose you never, you never grow up, really, when you think about it, no matter how old you are. And that's what life's about, enjoying yourself. You can't beat it. which means paler when it comes down here oh, it makes a bit of that blue there I like that I like that bluey stuff this is this uh, ultramarine and burnt umber it's if I, if I vary the quantities if I put more burnt umber in I'll get a, like a brownie brownie a dark brown which is which is nice as well. 
put some darks into here. All this will sort of give this sculptured effect of these these sand sand cliffs here. Don't adjust your sound. Sometimes I do stop talking. You know, it's well. I don't want to bore you with with conversation. But I'm doing these twiddly bits. It's just putting these darks on top of this. Just to, it's 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 sort of just indicating some shapes on the sand or the clip clip on the sand. Anyway, let's get that done. And so as I as I go further into the distance. I, I avoid that because that's that's too far away. So that all the action is is down this end here. Right, we'll tuttle this beach a bit now. As I said, the the, the beach is is there. And it's it's quite. It it is a lovely beach, but as I said, when at low tide, we get these uh, these rocks showing, and and actually it's, it's chalk actually. And these are, it's chalk, and the reason it, it, it is chalk is because uh, they've discovered a, a chalk reef which starts about Sheringham, which is the next village along, and goes down to, uh, I think down to sort of, to uh, Aysborough, somewhere around there, and it's down the coast. And what it is, it's, it's uh, they've, they've discovered this. And that they, it's it's like a chalk reef. It's like you know the, the you know Jack Cousteau when he used to be diving and all this. He uh, this this has been found and and oh, a bit of archaeologists swarming all over it. And of course, all, while all this is happening, we, we've got a, 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 a team of fishermen all, all, all based on the beach, the other side of this these this pier, and they're earning their living sort of going out to sea and getting the, the, the crabs, the chroma crabs are famous, and uh, catching things like that, and lobsters and what have you. And, uh, and of course they said, oh, we, we, we can't have it all, we can't, they can't be doing this because it's, it's too important. But they've been doing it for years. Anyway, they haven't stopped them. They'd go mad if they tried to stop them. So, uh, so they've compromised, they just let them do it. And they're not editing it at all, but but they've done uh, videos of it, and there's uh, oh, people. You can see these. It's like I say, like like the, the Barrier Reef in Cromer. I tell you, we, we've got everything. I shouldn't talk like this because I don't want you all coming up here because it will spoil it for us. A bit selfish, but uh, that's how it is. These are, these are rocks and things like that, and been a few things just to sort of. Yeah, a touch of stuff like that, all, all, all rubble on the beach, it is like this. That's what makes it, is, is, this is where the rock pools are. After the kids can't wait for low tide. In fact, this is it's quite good because they, I like watching them on the pier, the, the, this pier here. And you get loads and loads of uh, uh, children with uh, with a bucket and uh, crab line, call them crab lines they do. And they 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 put them over the sides there and and then pull them up and there's the crabs in, in on the line and stuff like this and they keep them in the bucket and they, they spend hours doing this. And it's, it's lovely. And then of course at the end of the day they they, they pull them all back in the water again, which is, which is nice, you know, because they, they're not. They're not big enough to eat. They're the they're, they're small ones, and uh, but I'm, I'm sure some of them crabs they've been caught that many times. They've got numbers on the bike, <laughs> uh, they, and you can see them. Oh dear, dear! You've got to look on the face. Oh, not again! You know, dragged out of the water. But it's a lot of fun, and it's like the fishermen. The fishermen. The fishermen fish off the pier. And uh, they're dedicated. I mean, they've got all the gear, you know, the, the big rods and and all the, the baits and stuff like this. And you know, I mean, I've lived here in, in actual Chrome. I've lived here for ten years, and I keep going on the pier, and I talk to the fishermen because I talk to talk to anybody. 
and uh, you know I've yet to see a fisherman with a fish so I, I don't know what they're doing but, but they, they never seem to catch fish while I'm there it's, it's, it's weird I don't know what it's all about but uh, it, it, it's not happening while I'm there because I, I, I think oh surely I'll, I'll get one soon but no no the, the, they keep they keep dipping the worms in or whatever they dip in and uh, but it doesn't it doesn't work so these I'm just putting rock in randomly here I shouldn't put a supermarket trolley in or a bike or anything like that it's just random random stuff flotsam and jetsam or whatever they call them all down here so the kids dodge, dodge some in here it's a gorgeous beach here as well, don't forget. It's, it's not all like, like this. But the, 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 the chalk reef starts about here and then goes out to sea and that. But you still get smooth water to, to, to swim in. Lovely. Right, I'll, I'll leave that for a bit. And I'll, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll get some water in. The sea. The sea at Cromer. And of course we've got a blue flag beach. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's top, top, top notch it is. I keep promoting this. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not on the on the payroll. You know, it's just. A, I, I can't help talking about the, how lovely the, the place is. So let's now the sea. Of course, will be what's in the sky. And we've discussed this before. Whatever's up there is down here as well. But it'd be a stronger stronger value. So we'll sort something out here. Let's get this. Let's get this water in. I'm mixing some more of that. To, I'm not sure what I'm doing it, but I'm, I'm messing about. There, that's that's it. I'm mixing a bit. Bring some this this burnt timber in here into this, and then hopefully that 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 pot there will, will give me the, the the sea I want. And I'm just but I'm going to test it on a piece of paper to make sure it's what I want. That's all right. Yep. And I'll paint it with this with this colour here. I shan't. Uh, and I'm missing bits because I like the, I like the, the bits of white in it, you know. Right, coming up the up the, up the beach there. And I might darken this 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 front end a bit just to bring it towards me. Put a bit more colour into that. Let's make it a bit stronger. That'll do for that. Right. Not a lot of sea to be on this picture, but uh, it's nice to put it up in. In fact, what I'll do, I don't, I don't particularly like that. That bit of water there, that's, it's not, it's not uniform there. So I'm going to put a touch more in here like this. Bring it up there. Looks a bit better by the pier in that. And of course in these rock pools there, 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 there's water in here as well. And whether I can show you that, I'll, I'll, I'll try and put some dots of blue in here just to where the water is. Just to show where the rock pools are. If I showed this to the grandkids, say, where's the rock pools, Grandad? So I better put them in. Right, let's try, try some people, shall we? I mean, you've got a beach like this, you're going to get people. Right, get a little rigger on this. Because they're only going to be small, aren't they? They're not, they're not in your face. Let's see what we've got. I like my red, so I'm going to have somebody in red on the beach. 
I don't know what they're going to be doing, but they they're in these rock pools here, and he's got this bloke, this lad has got a red jumper on here, and he's looking down in the rock pool here, and perhaps one or two up here. It's just these are the distant distant people, some down on the beach here down here. Put him some, put him some trousers on. It's enjoying his, his day at the coast like that. And put some people on, let's see the... They're gonna have, some are gonna have shorts on them, they're not all gonna be trousers on. So let's put some, put some people down here, these are... Brown and things like that. Playing in the sea. I say, I say, when you're doing these, you just, you just, you know, you can't, you can't say the figures. That the, the if people see them, say, oh, well, there's some people down there. They'll, they'll tell me to feed people for you. Just, you trust me, they will. And of course, when they, you can get some like this. Get somebody stood, stood here. Let's. That's a bit too, too wet that. Too much water on it. So this one's got, got legs down here like that. But if you leave a bit like that, you see, he's, he's got a white cozy on. There. I haven't painted it. It's just it's just the, the rocks behind it. It, it. it makes it look like he's got well, he's got something on anyway. Whatever it is, and, that, and it's nice to use some of this. this you know, remember that gouache I told you about? This is that gouache stuff. There it is. Put some of that in because you can get some people with white costumes on and stuff like that, and it, it all adds to the your picture. That's just it's set on the on the palette so let's See what we've got. Softened a bit with some water, and put someone in. Uh, and put someone with a cosy just here. It's still talking to this bloke here. Uh, she's. I think we'll just put her. I don't know if I can do this, but I will, I'll try. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is, is, is put her. A bikini on. I might be biting off more than I can chew here, but we'll see how we go. It's worth worth a try. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? So, yes, she is. I'll try and put this. She's got she's got some white bikini bottoms there, and there's a bikini top. We get we get somebody. A little white white figure here. The dad's dad's looking after him. He's 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 in the rock pool. This one. Let's put this this bikini one. Put put some legs on. There she is. He's holding his hand. That's it. She's brown in the middle. There, look at her. Sure enough. He's a little boy there doing that. And I'll, I'll put some. I'll try and put some whites down, down, down further down the beach. See what they're doing. Blobs like that. They're getting involved in talking to him. A bit more white on that one. Well, that's, that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen people. Uh, 
Oh, I'd have to put one or two more in. I just I can't leave them like that. It's put somebody, somebody here sat on this rock. He's got a jacket on himself. He's he's waiting for something. I don't know what he's waiting for. Is he's hanging on a bit, and he's got a mm, let's see some blue trousers on. There he is, he's stuck in the rock pools. Right, I can, I can go on all day with this, you know, doing these, but to uh, put one or two more in just here, I, I, I can't resist putting odd pod figures in like this. Because the more people that's on this beach, I hope they social distancing, you know what they do. Some just there. So I better put this, add some legs on here. There he is. Right, I, th I think I think that that's enough for them for just now. Uh, what, what's the last thing we do? We, do? we tend to put the shadows in last, don't we? So let's put some shadows in this. See how we go. I know what I'll do before I, before I stop. I'll just put in the the top of the the the, the theatre on the pier. And the the lifeboat house, uh, I got a white top on. So I think if I put a white top on there, that that will help. I think. And look, see if it's not too far away. I'll just put a white top on there. See how it's going. And on top of this one here. It's usual stuff. This. So if you. If you're out shopping, it's called gouache, white gouache. I say it's as cheap as chips, so you can't go wrong. And then on these little towers on the end here. Right, we'll do that and shadows next. Let's put some shadows in. The brush for shadows. That'll do. The shadow colour is ultramarine and burnt umber. That's the light is coming from the top left, so the shadows will be bottom right, won't they? Hopefully. Let's put some shadows in. So we're going to get some shadows on. See, I don't want that rig for that. That's so small that that area I want to do. The side of the side of the, this building here will be in shade, just here. And that will be in shade just there. And the church, this side of the church will be in shade because it's not facing the sun. Put that in. Gives it a more of a three dimensional look. Right, let's see about. We're going to get some shadows on here, aren't we? I don't know whether you see any, whether you'd, it might be a bit too far to get a bit of shadow off these people here, but I'll put I'll put some in just to just to keep people happy. Just a bit of shadow on that, shadow on that, shadow on this bloke here. Not these; they're too far away. Just a touch on on this shape here. And then I'll have a look in this sky and see if there's any any 
seagulls flying about or little dodgy bits in the sky which we've missed let's have a look see what we've got a little white spot there I might put a seagull up there just one a little seagull The seagulls round round this place, they, they, they're so well fed. I mean, they, they, these people sit on this the, the top here. They, we're overlooking the, the, the there's some seating areas in front of the front of the hotel there, and there's a fish and chip shop just here. And of course, the, the, the seagulls have they have a job taking off. They got that fat with fish and chips in them. Just one gull up there, blackhead gull it is. So it's putting a blackhead in it. Just here. Bit of shade under its wing there. And I'm at the stage where I'm looking for things to do. So I'm going to stop there, folks. Uh, this is uh, Cromer from East Runton. And it's the cliffs and there and, and heading towards the beach and all that around there. And the, the other side is just the same. It's just lovely, full of people and that. And a lovely day like this. Uh, I never tire of painting the, this area because I, I, I live here, but uh, I'm a, a bit biased. But I hope you've enjoyed painting it. I have enjoyed painting it. And if you haven't enjoyed it, uh, give us a, a like or a, a subscribe and then we'll tell you what's happening next time. Uh, but until then, it's uh, goodbye, folks. Goodbye for now.